Teenagers are also taking a huge hit on the job front. Many can't find that summer work, but there is money to be made out there. According to our next guest, the key is to think like an entrepreneur. Sharon Lecter is the author of the book Three Feet from Gold and the head of the financial education group Pay Your Family First. She joins us now from Phoenix. Good to see you, Sharon. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm delighted to be with you. All right. Well, we are going to help kids, uh, young people get a job right now. And you say the first tip is think beyond the obvious. What do you mean? Well, when you think about team unemployment right now, it's almost triple what uh, the average unemployment for adults is. And certainly as these people come off unemployment rolls, it's going to get even worse for our young people. And certainly for minority kids, it's even higher. So we want to ignite the entrepreneurial spirit in these kids. They are very creative. Mm -hmm. These kids are incredible. And have them think beyond the typical babysitting lawn service. Maybe create a network of babysitters, offer reading, offer enrichment in art help parents have a better life, not just babysit, but help them educate their kids. And, uh -huh, and you say, you know, try to determine a need that you can fulfill. And that really is kind of the mantra whenever you're to start up a business. What is needed out there? What will people grab onto? Well, just think of all the struggling businesses that are out there. A teen could come up with the concept of going to a, a, a property manager at an office building downtown, set up a teen entrepreneur fair, and sell wares of local business opportunities. Go get movie tickets or get tickets to the water park. And as those parents come down after a long day of work, say, surprise your family. So not only does the local business win, the teen wins and the families win because the mm -hmm. mom and dad bring something home fun. And then you say, start a, a business around something that interests you. And it's so important. Combine your passion and your talent with what you want to do as a business. Many kids um, love to bike, as an example. So you could set up a biking fair or a biking um, repair area mm -hmm. at a local grocery store or teach young kids how to bike. So do something that you truly love. People that are also very, some, this generation is also very concerned about the environment. So start going to your neighbors and mm -hmm. offer to replace all their light bulbs with energy saving light bulbs. Yeah. These kids are very, very smart and allow them and encourage them to think about what they can do to make money because once they understand how to make money on their own, mm -hmm. that is a skill that will last them a lifetime. Wow, it sounds like you're also asking them to be a little bit more philanthropic too. Oh, it's very important to always give back. We have a, a, a program that we teach called Youthpreneur and the, in the business kit. Uh -huh. A very important part of any business is giving back and sharing. The way we got out of the Great Depression was through capitalism and through entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And the way we're going to get out of this current mm -hmm. economic slump is through capitalism, entrepreneurship, and giving back, adding value to the world. Well, and you're telling these young people that you don't have to go far, you don't have to look far. You can actually find some of these opportunities right at home, for example. Well, absolutely. I mean, w your parents are your best source, your biggest cheerleaders. <laughs> um, they may have that spare room that needs to get painted, or they may have an attic full of stuff that you can say, Mom and Dad, I'm going to clean it out, take it to the swap meet, and make hundreds of dollars. So start at home and your neighbors. And volunteer. Sometimes that's a, a great road in which to find some employment. Well, one of the biggest concerns I have about these teens not being able to find jobs is the amount of idle time that they have. A lot of things that are not positive can happen with a lot of idle time. So if you haven't been able to find a job, go volunteer for a local charity, volunteer for a hospital, mm -hmm. because by volunteering, you're going to meet people that are going to need to hire people in the future. So by expanding your network and by giving back to mm -hmm. others, not only will you feel better, but you're going to be adding value to those around you. Okay, so the volunteer work might be priceless, but you know, when you hear someone say you can start your own opportunity, start your own business, sometimes that also means a little capital. And if you don't have any money, you know, how do you, you know, find that seed money to get started? That's where I'm calling on the baby boomers. Those of us that are out there to help give a hand up, not a handout to these teenagers. Give them an opportunity. We talked earlier in your show about mm -hmm. micro lending in the, in the third world countries. Mm -hmm. Let's do some micro lending right here in America. Mm -hmm. Help that young person. We have a program that we do with the Boys and Girls Clubs here in Phoenix where these kids take bubblegum machines out to lo local businesses and the businesses host them. And they earn money while they're learning about entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Extend a hand if you have a business. Find teens that can help you sell your wares or host them. Allow them to come into your business and set up a shop, 
set wow. up a table that says my entrepreneur business. Not only will the business owner win, they'll feel great about it, but the young person is going to realize the value of collaboration Fantastic. and the opportunity. Oh, yes. Sharon Lecter, uh, author of Three Feet from Gold and head of the financial education group uh, Pay Your Family First. I want to be a teenager again just to try out these tips because they sound quite brilliant. Thanks so much we for your time. Well, thank you so much. We also have a board game called Thrive Time for Teens that just ah. won an award. And that board game teaches young people how important it is, to, uh, not only how they spend their money, but how they spend their time. It teaches them about entrepreneurship, and it teaches them about how to make more money, keep it, and make it work for them. All right. Smart stuff. We love smart. Thanks so much, Sharon. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend. I'm delighted to be here. Thank you so much. Okay.